what's up guys welcome to across nigeria remember um one of my last posts i brought news to you about how i tickle um got the real figure of the just concluded presidential election which he claimed he pulled um, about the 10 million three hundred and fifty six thousand seven hundred and thirty two votes to defeat Buari. now you may be wondering why Tiko is really spending much time you know he have hired about 20 son and also prepared about 400 um, weaknesses um, for the tribunal case he petitioned about the victory of Buhari so uh, the APC um, APC chief 10 here have react to the claim and um, let's see the news here Nabana who was reacting to the claim uh, by PDP that its presidential candidate actually won the 2019 election um, from what the annex server showed wonder how the political organization would have gotten the figure without hacking into the website okay this is across nigeria before i continue this story please i am begging you to subscribe to my channel to support me so you won't miss any story and update from me okay so you can see from um, actually this news is from night.com it's a popular news site okay so you can see it there all right so the news is authentic and um it's not a fake news so um you can see from um a, a twitter handle from yekini nabina here he said in a 139 page petition okay so the news actually um, came from punch newspaper all right so yekini further said that um pdp had enlisted the service of some hackers from russia so they are now accusing atiku abubakar from paying russian hackers to compromise the server of the INEG. okay so he further said in his twitter handle here just tell me how atiku and how official pdp would bring out figures from INEG server without having access to it all right so um do we now say that the this uh, the figure from INEG server which article claim is correct okay because the, this man here um is as if he knows everything that happened that article um, actually contacted the service of um russian hackers all right um just like what he emphasized here so he said um without having access to article recruited um russian hackers for nigerian decide but god passed them Okay, so now this man is claiming um, that Atiku actually hired the service of Russian hackers to hack into the INEC website. But um, if I may ask, is it um, constitutional for Atiku to must have um, bring in um, external body to hack into the INEC server without court approval? What is um, the implication of this? Okay what is the implication of this if only because um, i'm looking at the situation how Atiku got to know the actual figure of the election the presidential election so um how did he actually do that so he has been accused of um uh, bringing in russian hackers to hack into the INEC website so personally i have to think in mind if either Atiku have an intels okay is that either Tiku have an intel um, in the INEC that must have given him the information or just like what Nabi Nahe said that Tiku actually um, contracted the Russian hackers uh, to hack into INEC website to give him the data which he claimed he uh, defeated Buhari with about 1 point something million votes okay so that is the story so far so good um so if i may ask what is the implication of this if only what article is claim is legit what is um the law implication of this hacking into a server without court 
other all right guys um let me see your reaction your contribution on the comment section below and please remember if you haven't subscribed try and do that now i will see you in the next video